Invasive weeds seem to take hold of the soil and refuse to let go. This is especially true of knotweed. The solution, if you can't beat it, eat it. Dave Crawley has the story. Invasive plants got your goat? Well, these hungry guys have been hired in various Pittsburgh locations to get rid of unwelcome weeds, especially knotweed. That red stem stuff and this big, thick green stuff, you can tell it by that broad leaf. But why waste all that good eating on mere farm animals? Now those goats are getting some help from humans. Knotweed is showing up on the menus of some of our finer restaurants, like Six Pen Kitchen downtown. Caramelize the porcini, get the steak sizzling, and then add the knotweed. Take the species. Executive chef Kevin Herman says knotweed adds flavor if properly cooked. Knotweed has a very specific flavor that has a bit of acidity to it, but it also has sort of a uh, an earthy, grassier sort of background note to it that lends itself towards uh, savory dishes, or you can also use it in sweet dishes. This dizzying array of herbs and spices is part of Six Pen's farm to table philosophy. And there we have it pan seared tenderloin, potatoes gratin, and porcini and nutweed ragu. Invasive species bites the dust, or at least drowns in butter. Any way that we can try to help out our environment by both uh, utilizing it in different sauces and soups and stocks or uh, different cooking preparations, uh, it's, it's a very nice relationship because it's never ending. <laughs> Which has satisfied chefs and goats alike. Attacking the knotty problem of knotweed, I'm Dave Crawley.